Um, well, congratulations on on dandelion. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, my first question for you is, how did the character of dandelion come to you? How did she form? Ah, uh, um, I mean, she formed probably when I was a little kid and obsessed with dandelions and I mean my dandelion tattoo but my uh yeah it was just something from my childhood my mom and I I remember doing just popping the heads off dandelions picking dandelions in the country um but to as a character in a feature film uh she is sort of she embodies how I have felt as a filmmaker and just feeling overlooked not looking around and seeing filmmakers like me um standing you know next to my male peers and watching them pass me by watching them watching their journeys happen a lot quicker than mine and feeling like you're on a hamster wheel and you're just trying 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 and running 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 and running to nowhere and the way I learned to feel better and, and, and about all of that was just staying in the process and learning to love the process and let go of all those results because you can't control those. And it was a really beautiful thing when I learned that. You can't. Um, I was talking to Thomas Jordy and, you know, he was on Girls 5 Eva and they have a song in that show about being in the middle and kind of like enjoying where you're at, which I, I love yeah. that that same idea is like woven through, uh, woven through dandelion. Um, talk to me about choosing Kiki Lane to play your lead. Um, did you know that she, she had this amazing voice? No, I didn't know she could sing. And I was in the auditioning process and her singing tape came my way. And I thought it was, I thought it was wonderful. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. What was it about her audition that kind of blew you away? Um, I loved how much she connected to the character. I love that she could uh, just relate to her in so many ways and that um, she talked to me a lot about feeling sidelined herself. And I felt that she really felt that deeply and that was necessary for this character. Did you give Kiki any particular artist to focus on? Um, while she was preparing for this singing part, like, was it, I know you mentioned like Tracy Chapman and stuff. In yeah, your- yeah. Yeah. We ta- yeah. I mean, there was Tracy Chapman for sure, but I want, when we think of black women in music, we don't think of indie music or folk we don't. music, no. uh, but there's, you know, it started with Odetta not Bob Dylan. Odetta inspired Bob Dylan yeah. and yeah. So I sent her, um, and then there's always a Dia Victoria, but I, but I sent her Joy Alotican. Okay. Who, who's amazing. Yeah. And, um, I, I, and featured in the film and I love Joy and I sent her Joy Alotican, um, so she could see an example of here is a black woman singing folk indie. You don't, not necessarily the genre we associate a Black artist with. Yeah. But like, here is a woman singing, a Black woman who who's who's opening for Chris Stapleton. Yeah. You know, who's, who's like, I, who, who is working in a white man's, uh, white man's genre. Like, so Joy Alotacune, huge, huge inspiration for Dandelion. Um, visually this film flows between these really beautiful shots of what's supposed to be South Dakota and then the darkness of these like CD bars and, and music venues. Um, but you also really emphasize Casey and da- uh, Dandelion's hands a lot, which I found really interesting, um, especially when they're uh, their proximity to each other. Um, talk to me about those choices and, and what uh, grabbed you as a filmmaker. Yeah. Um... It's just like a preoccupation I have. I mean, for example, with Ruth and the manuf- and manufacturing and the world it's in, it's it's these people working with the, hard with their hands. And but with Dandelion, it opens on her hands and not her face because it's a store. It's a love story about a woman and her guitar. And and it, I wanted people to understand the care she puts into her instrument and that this instrument is her shield. 
her guitar is her sword and it's how she communicates with the world. And I really wanted to convey the care and the love she puts into that guitar. Um, in the press notes, you wrote that no pop star is born at the end of Dandelion. It's a story about a woman who makes it without making it, who gives herself over to an uncertain future and lets it take her to an unexpected self-enlightenment. I think a lot of people in creative fields can kind of relate to that, like I certainly do. Um, you know, not everybody is, you know, a, a Taylor Swift or a Beyonce or someone at the top of their craft or top of their game, right? right? Like a lot of us are, you know, either selling out or finding a way to like work in our, you know, our creative love uh, to our, either our normal job or working, doing gigs on the weekends. You know, I definitely relate to that as a writer. So um, there has to be this like self-acceptance uh, that you're okay where you're at. Um, talk to me about infusing that, you know, more into the film. Um, Oh, wow. Um, yeah, could you point me more specifically? I, I feel like I could answer so many questions. <laughs> and I want to answer, I want to answer the right one. I have a lot of answers. Yeah, I mean, what? I mean, like you said, it's a love story between a girl and her guitar, but it's also a love story of just kind of enjoying the early parts of the process that Yes. are always romanticized, right? And, and uh, yeah, we are romanticized, right? Of yes. like the hungry kind of thing, but it's also yeah. exhausting and tiring and depleting. Yeah, no, yeah. Again, the, where you started, thank you for that. Yeah, no pop stars born, you know, in, yeah. in a movie, no stars, but like a, but a, but what's born is so much bigger than that. Right. What's born isn't riches and fame like we see at the end, tons of attention, What's born is her sound and the beginning of her success is the end of this film. Mm -hmm. And what's born is she's found a sound that's authentically hers and she has found her peep. She has found her audience and your audience may not be every single person, every age, every, your audience may not be Taylor Swift size. Yeah. Your audience might be, 30 people in a room who absolutely love you. Yeah. It might be that dreaded niche word, you know, that might be it. But I would much rather as a filmmaker have a rabid fans of my films. People, like I'd much rather have 300 people who just love my work than just hundreds of thousands of people who, who really, I mean, like it love it or you know like or may or maybe they maybe if you could have hundreds of thousands of people be a rabid fan base and love you like that's great too but just like almost like meet yourself where you are and yeah. you talked about the middle earlier it, it that even extends beyond the arts right in life where we're always like you have this idea of where you want to get to in your head, like Dandelion probably has in her head an idea of what it looks like to be a successful musician. Um, and it, it, in life, we do that too. Like the perfect partner, the perfect house, where you want to live, how you, you kids, how you want your life to be the perfect job, but you're also forgetting to live the middle. Like life is like between the, what is it that saying the trapeze like it the the ends on the trapeze like life yeah. is lived, life is lived in the on middle the wire yeah yeah on the wire like life's lived in the middle and your journey as a filmmaker it's it's or or any kind of artist or singer it's it's in it's in the middle and you you really don't want to miss out on loving that loving that process yeah yeah, definitely. I love that. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me, Nicole. I really, really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, Cortland. Thank you so much uh, for making Dandelion. I think it's a really great, beautiful movie. Thank you. Tell everyone, July 12th, everyone, please I, go see Dandelion July 12th. July 12th. Awesome. Thanks for checking out the show. If you like what we're laying down, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest stuff.